Hi, this is Darla from Coleman and & Company, and today I'm going to help you get set up with your GraphTech CE6000, get your settings right so that you can begin uh, cutting out for rhinestones on the sticky flock material. So let's go to the Start menu, click on All Programs, Click on your GraphTech Cutting Plotter Controller for CE6000. And then click on Cutting Plotter Controller. This opens up the window where you can see on the left hand side there are some preset conditions. And for conditions, what that means is that all of these different types of materials, because the CE5000 can cut on many different types of materials, not just sticky flock, um, they all have uh, built-in settings. So say you're doing, you know, uh, outdoor vinyl, for example. Um, GraphTech has gone ahead and pre-programmed all of those settings for you. Now, we did not have sticky flock pre-programmed in, so let's start there. We're going to click on Edit Media List. And we're going to click on New. And here we have the media name. Um, you know, sticky flock comes in many different sizes and uh, variable widths and that, so I would be specific here as to what sticky flock you're setting up. So in this case, we're going to set up for sticky flock 14 inch. Okay? So that is my uh, material that I'm going to be using. These settings is what we're going to change. Uh, what I have found works very well with the sticky flock that we're using. So currently, um, the force, that's, that's how um, hard the blade pushes down on the material. I have found that 19 works very well. Just click on this button to the right to make it push down harder on the blade or to the left to have less force. For the speed, um, the machine is very fast. You can see it goes all the way up to 60. Uh, we're using, for the most part, um, we've been using about 20 on the speed. I haven't changed anything here on the acceleration. Uh, and the offset, I ha I'm not going to change anything there either. There are some advanced settings that we'll go into now by clicking on Advanced. And I do want to have the Tangent Emulation on. And I'm going to have it overcut starting at 0, 0, 0.000 and I'm going to end it at 0.00 four. Okay, so that's going to create an overcut when it does the circle. It's going to just slightly overcut from where it started. And I'm going to increase the initial downforce by three. So what this relates to, the initial downforce, relates to the actual force here. So rather than the blade just automatically starting with a downforce of 19, I'm telling it to start three points higher than that, so a little bit stronger to get that initial push through the material, so that we don't have um, we don't have the beginning part of the of the circle uncut. That's what that does. So three works very well. Once you have that set, just click OK. Oh. All right. So I put the inch symbol in there, and I'm going to take that off and just put 14. It didn't like that. There we go. 
So now you can see that I have Sticky Flock 14 down here. This is the tool, otherwise known as the knife. There are different knife sizes. This is the standard knife that comes with the machine. Here you can see the force that I've set, the speed, acceleration, etc. So I would like to make this uh, my condition number two. So I highlight it, select it. If you haven't entered any in yet, you will want to make that number one. And then just simply click on your condition right here. Condition number one for you. If you're just setting up, I'm going to be condition number two because I already have a number one. And then I'm going to click on condition number over here on the left hand side and it'll automatically sort my conditions. Uh, one more time. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. So the graph tech will hold eight preset conditions in the machine itself. You can have others down here and notice that it took number two it took number two's place, but the settings for number two are still here. So I haven't lost them, it's just moved them. All right, so we close this out. That's all set. Make sure you have your plotter on, and then you will want to upload the settings to the plotter by clicking on this pink button. It takes just a minute. The machine will read processing. And when it's done receiving the information, it'll go back to ready. Ready will be highlighted and the condition name or the media name that you selected will be displayed on your control panel on the CE6000. So that's how we set up our conditions for the plotter.